So, you guys are probably wondering where the classic album reviews are. They're coming. I know I said I was going to have them on Sunday, and I know I said I was going to have them on the previous Sunday. But I've been busy. Very busy. Things sort of pop up at a magical time. So, essentially, I want to talk about a single that was released by these guys. Now, are you thinking, all right, he's going on a rant. He's calling them out. It's going to be bad. It's going to be good. It's going to be violent. Well, unfortunately, I'm going to ruin it for you because it's not. Lux Eterna. Let's get down to the meat and, you know, the, the meat and potatoes of this fucking thing. Because I've already had a nine minute video done for this and I was still going. And I'm like, you're just battling like an idiot at this point. We all know this fucking band. We all know what we want. I especially have wanted nothing but a pure balls out fucking thrashy type record like Ride the Lightning and fucking Kill Em All. We got three so three songs from the, the previous record that's similar to that. S let's I will state for the record. Hardwired to Self Destruct is a very punk like tune. Moth into Flame is very much that <gasps> Oh, excuse me. There's a there's a like an injustice kind of feel to that. Meets with like a bit of maiden kind of thing. And then there's Spit Out the Bone. Spit Out the Bone is just total chug fest. It's got that early ride kill puppets kind of that really sort of, you know, that Hetfield chug. And then as you get into the midsection, then where it's like really melody and there's like a lot of single notes, you get sort of that you know, death magnetic and kind of like load reload kind of thing where there's like a lot of melody in it. The good thing about this is, is that you get enough of that in here. It's not overly melodic, but it's not overly, it's not like, it's not fucking like, you, your face isn't going to get ripped apart when you listen to the song. Metallic is in their early 60s. Okay, let's let's get one thing straight here. Now, Exodus is getting close to that. Or they're probably about the same age. Now, they they go out and put out a balls-ass ripping record. Cool. If we get any more of Lux Eterna, or even like Spit Out the Bone, or Hardwired, or even Moth into Flame on this, and it's consistent like that, good. I'm looking forward to the record. And the reason being is because I've been a fan of this band for so fucking long. I criticize it because I give a shit. But at the same time, I'm kind of like, can you guys just stop with such stupidity some days? With this song, I'm not getting that. I'm getting very much a kill them all uh, feel. There's also Merciful Fate. When you listen to it, if you... If you put the fucking can if you put the fucking cans on and then you listen to this fucking thing. My first immediate thought was, okay, there's to kill them all, there's ride the lightning, but I also get a good chunk of that fucking merciful fate medley from uh, Garage Inc. Um the production actually feels like Garage Inc. And that was sort of done in a garage, and it was sort of bullshit like but the production really sounds good. Like the mix it like the mix and the mastering of this sounds really fucking good. There's an old school feel to this. Very vintage. Yeah, you're not getting sort of that, yeah, you know, you're not getting that, I don't know. You know, you're not getting the screams out of him, but you're not going to. It sucks because there are moments and times where I know he can do it because I've watched clips of him screaming live. But trying to do that for a full record, I don't think for Hetfield that would be a good idea. Lyrically, outside of those full speed or nothing, full speed or nothing, Lexi Turner, because he really only says that song, he only says the title like one or two or three times in each chorus, chorus, because it's really not a chorus. Um, what I do know 
is the rest of the lyrics. It's really, uh, it's better when you, like, when you listen to it and you read the lyrics, you're like, okay, this sound, this really feels like, they feel more like Ride the Lightning than any other record. Um, Master of Puppets was sort of cryptic, but not, um, I found that, like, even when you're listening to puppets, like, sometimes you get to think, it's like, okay, well, you know, chop your breakfast on a mirror, and people are like, well, what does that mean? It's fucking coke, you dumb shits. Um, and to be honest, people wanted me to do a reaction to this where, you know, you would have a little screen at the bottom while the video's playing or a lyric video. The problem with that is, with a guy like myself, I've done videos before where I've had clips of songs in like even if i'm just sitting here and i have you know uh a song playing in the background it gets copyrighted and yeah i can sit there and put the fair use thing up but i've done that before and i had a cop and i had to copy short copyright strike so it's like well i guess maybe i won't then doing and, and besides i'm only a channel of 340 some 41 subscribers Nobody wants me to do that. I mean, there's a, there's a couple people, like Brian and them. But I feel that with this song, and this is like sort of my final statement, if what I'm getting in this is constant throughout the record with maybe a song or two that sounds like Spit Out the Bone, a song that sounds like fucking, or that has, that, has the same sort of feel as Moth into Flame, and another song that maybe sounds like Escape, Trapped Under Ice, anything like that in any way, shape, or form, I'll be happy with it. Because this song, I'm going to give this a 4 out of 5. Now, some people are like, Whoa, you fucking... Bleh. Really? Fuck off. Because I've already seen channels where they're like, Oh, it's stupid. Oh, this kind of sucks. Blah, blah, blah. And all you're doing is you're just going to get clicks on this. And that's fine, pal. That's fine. You're going to get whatever you want. And you're going to see a lot of people doing videos on this saying, oh, it's fucking, everybody's just kissing their asses in Metallica. It sounds good. What do you want me to say? It's, and they're not, it's not like they're friends of mine. Because, you know, people would say, well, you're doing fucking in a, a reviews for your friends. Stop giving them four out of five. Okay, well, then I'll give, then I can go back, review all the records and give them twos. How do you like that? makes no fucking sense. If I genuinely like the fucking song, that's my thought process on it. Okay? There's no ifs, ands, or buts. This band has gone through a lot. A lot. And it sounds fucking great. And I've listened to it enough that I know. In my, in my, whole, in my humble opinion, it sounds better than some of the shit we've gotten over the last couple years from the big, thrashy bands. Now, sure, that's not thrashy like Hate Uber Alley's. It's not thrashy like Destruction or Sodom. But it's metallic. You know what you're expecting at some point. And if I can get more of this and more of the other songs, and some even if if, if the rest of this sounds production wise like Kill 'em All and, and Bride, with that new upper uh, upper echelon type of production, cool. I'm in. So anyways, guys, thank you so very much for watching. Um, I hope you guys stay to watch the whole thing. Um, I know there are some people that don't really get a whole lot of view time on my channel, and that's fine. Um, I hope I can get you, so hopefully people subscribe, check more videos out. I would appreciate that. Again, I'm not doing this for the big fucking hooray like everybody else does. I'm just doing it because I can. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. And yes, I'm going to get to the classic reviews. You just may not like the responses you get.